OpenAI just released Sora 2, but most people still can't access it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sora 2 for free without an invite code, and more importantly, how to turn it into a complete short form content machine that replaces a $2,000 per month social media manager. And whether you just want to play around with Sora 2 before everybody else does, or if you want to start using it right now to scale your content game, then this video's got a little something for everyone. But on the automation side, here's what I was able to do. I made an AI agent that I can message anytime I want content. It'll write me an expert level prompt, generate the video using Sora 2, write me captions and then post it across any social media platform I want. If you're new here, I'm Mike. I spent the last two years working in AI and now I help business owners and real estate pros scale with AI agents to earn their time back and make more money. And if you stick around, I'll show you exactly how to use Sora 2 for free right now and how I used it to create an entire short form content machine for a real estate agency. So let's get straight into it. So, I'm not real. Neither is this house. Everything you see is a simulated reality generated by Sora 2. Crazy, huh? I'm just tired of renting caves. The HOA fees are brutal. I feel you, and getting away from the endless sightings is priceless. All right, so I'm sure you guys are wondering, how do I actually use Sora 2 for free? And because this is the question that's on everybody's mind right now, the first thing I'm going to show you today is how to use Sora 2 without an invite code completely for free. And if you want to stick around after that, I'll show you how I actually built a full AI agent that uses Sora 2 to create an entire short form content machine for a real estate agency so you can see some of the things that Sora 2 can actually do for you in the real world. So let's not waste any time and hop straight into it. So in case you haven't checked it out yet, OpenAI has an entire page on their website about Sora 2 with a whole bunch of video demos and some reports on all of the different things that it can do at this point in time. But in order to actually use Sora 2 ourselves, we're going to need to come into a separate site, which is called Kai AI. And this site is what's going to allow you to start using Sora 2 right now for free. And while I'm not sponsored by Kai AI, it is a completely free service to start using. When you sign up, you'll get some free credits so you can start playing around with Sora 2 as soon as you jump off of watching this video. And because OpenAI has only been offering Sora 2 through their app, which is invite only, you can actually jump into Kai right now and start playing around with Sora 2 with zero invite code. So basically all you need to do if you want to start playing around with Sora 2 right now is jump onto this interface in Kai AI, make sure you have Sora 2 text to video selected, and then you'll be able to scroll down here and actually find an input field where you can write your own custom prompt in here. And then you can come down here and either change your aspect ratio to landscape or portrait depending on what type of content you want to produce. And as soon as you hit run, your video will be generated on the right hand side here and you'll be able to download it and play around with it and do whatever you like from there. Now this is cool and all, but it doesn't necessarily give you a real world use case that you can actually start benefiting from right now. And based on content systems and especially short form content being one of my most requested automation systems, I actually put together this automation that you guys are seeing on screen right now, which I'm gonna take you through a live demo on in a couple of seconds to actually show you what it looks like to generate a brand new video with Sora 2. Now, as I said, this is an actual chat agent so we can talk back and forth with it and actually generate videos with Sora 2 and actually get them posted directly onto our social media sites with custom captions and everything. So let's take a look at how this actually works here. If you're curious about getting ahead with AI but don't know where to start, I'm putting together a private community just for you. Inside, you'll find exclusive courses, Q&As with me, a library of AI agents you can use today, and a growing collection of other resources that give you everything you need to start scaling your business and start saving five or more hours every single week with AI within about 90 days. If that sounds interesting, go ahead and hit my first link down below to get access completely for free. Or if you're a business owner or real estate pro and you're curious about adopting AI and ironing out your AI strategy without the headache, then hit link number two to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and my team. Anyways, let's get straight back into the video. And so for this demo, I'm actually gonna be asking our agent here if he can make me a short form video post of a sci-fi real estate agent selling some homes on earth to her alien clients and making a clever joke about humans as she's making her pitch. So as you'll see, I'll be able to send this message directly off to our agent. It'll think for a while and actually process this in the background with Sora 2. And this will take a little while, so I'll actually hop back on here when we're all finished. All right, so we just got a response back from the agent just to confirm that it's finished our post. And just to make things easier, let me throw that video up on screen so you guys can take a look at it. For just 300,000 credits, you can own beachfront property on Earth. Sure, there are a few humans, but they've recently created AI, so most of them won't even notice you're here. And in addition to that, I also have everything organized here in this little Google Sheet. So it's got everything from my prompt to the actual caption that I'll be posting on social media and a direct link to that video so I can check it out. And because the system really takes care of every single step in the content creation process, from creating ideas to writing prompts to even producing and uploading your video for you, let me actually take you through step by step how I built the Sora 2 automation, how I was able to connect it to this API for Sora 2 using Kai AI. And as I'm showing you how everything works here, if you guys want to pick up this exact template for yourself to start using 
using it and playing around with it. Join my free community to gain access to this template and a whole bunch of other awesome AI resources. But with that said, let's jump straight into the development side of this and you guys can take a look at some of the nuances behind how I built this workflow here. All right, so because this Sora 2 workflow is actually more or less of an AI agent, I have it set up so we can directly chat back and forth with it as if it was our own custom short form content assistant. Now, because there are different requests that you can actually make to the assistant itself, I actually have a classifier here to break up the different possibilities of all the things that you could potentially be asking it. And the reason why I do this is because you might not necessarily have a content idea to work from. So our first category here is actually going to be an open-ended creative task. So if you're talking to this agent and you don't have a content idea, you can actually ask the AI to make one for you, which in this case is going to get routed down our creative pathway. On the other hand, like you saw in my demo, sometimes you will have an actual idea that you want to get produced. And in that case, you have a second category where the idea is actually predefined and provided by the user. So the AI agent can just pick up from there and create your entire piece of content from that single idea. Now, first up, let's actually take a look at pathway one, which is our creative director. This step is actually what's going to be handling all of your idea creation. And because of that, it'll sort of act as your, your creative content director in the background. And by the way, all of these prompts that I'm going to be showing you in this agent are actually optimized for Sora 2 specifically. So if we take a look here, this creative director is sort of designed to actually create ideas knowing that they're going to be created into final video posts using Sora. And because of that, I've designed this entire task around a business application for this real estate agency we're talking about so that it can create content for things like social media ads, investor pitches, brand stories, and so on. And because we want to generate creative marketing materials, not just a bunch of random business stuff or real estate content, the way that I design this prompt is to actually allow the AI creative freedom to do things like create catchy titles, design its own visual styles for the post, as well as details about what the actual business goal is behind creating the video, what characters will be featured in it, what the setting is. But essentially the purpose of this prompt here is to create a little bit of simulated creativity when you don't have any ideas, but you know you need to produce a piece of content and get it out quickly without sacrificing any quality. Now the second pathway that we actually have here is our defined content. And this pathway is actually going to pass all of your predefined ideas onto our AI director number two. So the way that I have this entire prompt set up is, is very similar to what we just went through, but it's more condensed just because we already have our idea set. Now I'm passing in the variable that we just got in the chat from the user, which is going to detail the entire idea that we want to produce. And this variable right here is actually what's allowing the AI to, to elaborate on the idea that we just created and transform that into more of a full-fledged production we can actually produce a video from. Now regardless of what pathway we choose from this point, whether we want the AI to create an idea for you or you have your own idea, both pathways are going to get routed back into our main workflow, which is going to handle the rest of our Sora 2 content generation here. Now our next AI step is actually going to take the output from our AI creative directors in what I call our Sora 2 master AI prompt engineer. Now again, all of the instructions in this prompt and all these materials will be included in my free community if you guys want to join below. But essentially this entire prompt right here is optimized for getting the AI itself to write prompts for Sora 2. Now because there is more or less of a specific framework that we like to formulate our prompts around when we're generating video content. I've actually designed this AI step with an entire set of guidelines based on the idea that we just generated from our AI creative director. And everything I included here in our prompting guidelines from cinematography to shot angles, scene descriptions, and even details and character actions are all based off of what works best for Sora at the moment. And each category here actually has a few listed items that the AI can sort of choose from or reference in order to create its own elements to add to our compositions here to create better quality videos for us. And to just reinforce all of these different scene directions here, I've included an example of what a potential input and output could look like once we have a completed prompt for Sora. And again, this is based off of a lot of the prompts that I'm seeing for Sora at the moment. And you could definitely come in here and update this as new practices are found or new methods are actually proven to produce better results with Sora. But overall, this is what our prompt engineer is going to look like here. And once we actually develop that prompt for Sora, I'm going to be passing all of this context onto our AI social caption writer. And this is going to be a pretty crucial bit of the puzzle as well because if you want to auto post content to your socials you're going to need to actually have some sort of copywriter on your team as well which is which this automation fully takes care of now i just kept this one simple just for demonstration sake if you're going to roll this into production you'd actually want to maximize this prompt in the ways that you saw the first two prompts that i showed you for our creative director and for our prompt engineer and in reality you can come in here and add all of your own examples of posts that you've written what your personal brand voice is and essentially any little detail that you would want this ai system to know to really nail your caption writing now, after that, this is where things really get interesting, which is where we pass everything onto Sora 2 via the API that I got from Kai. 
So let me just take a look at this so that I can show you guys what's really going on behind the scenes here. So if you remember back when I was showing you how to use Kai in the beginning of this video, everything we were doing was in this playground tab right here. But if you want to actually tap into the API for Sora 2, you're going to need to come into this API tab. And this is where all of that information is going to be for you to actually connect into NADEN. Now in my case, if you wanted to download my template, everything in here is already going to be set for you to go. So you don't need to worry about that. All you need to do is make sure you set your API key right here. And then in this JSON body, what we're doing is we're passing in the prompt that we just generated with our Sora 2 prompt engineer. And because I'm creating short form content, I have my aspect ratio set to portrait. And for quality, I just have mine set to standard, but you can come in here and change that to HD if you want. Now, because this video is gonna take some time to generate, I don't have it being pulled right away from the system. So what I have going on here is a loop to check for that video status to keep an eye on it so that we know when, when it's done producing. So what we have going on here is we're going to be able to get the actual video status from Kai AI using this HTTP request right here. And from there, we're gonna be checking if the video status is equal to success. If it is, we'll pass it on to the rest of our workflow, but if not, we'll wait again for 30 seconds, and then immediately after, we'll check the video status again, see if it's successful, and then we'll be able to loop through this as many times as we need to until the video is finished. I've connected this to my direct Google Sheet so we can keep track of our ideas, our AI captions, and the actual finished video link so that we can actually have our video links on hand within our Google Sheet so we can check them out. And for this automation here, I have it set up to upload to YouTube, but you can also set up to upload on Facebook, on Instagram, LinkedIn, or whatever social Social media platforms you want to work with here. But because this is going to end up being a YouTube short, we actually need a title for this video, which is why I have a little AI title generator step to actually create that for us before we get into the YouTube aspect. And once again, you can really get in here and customize this as much as you want. Add examples, tell the system how to write the perfect title for your brand and so on. But for the essence of this demo, this basically captures what we're looking for here. This is where we upload the video to all of the socials that we want. So again, I've just chosen YouTube here because it's easy to set up. You guys can go through and connect this to whatever other systems that you want to post on as well. And also pass in that caption that we wrote with AI so that everything is completely ready to go. And because this is sort of a chat agent at the end of this entire workflow, I just grabbed this little AI response node to increase the user friendliness behind our system here. So without this, we wouldn't have a confirmation from the AI in our chat. All this is really doing here is generating us a one to two sentence message just to let us know that the content is done and the entire workflow was successful. All right, so that about covers everything I wanted to show you guys in this video. And I hope you enjoyed this and got some value out of how you can both use Sora to for free and how you can start to automate some of these processes for yourself using that AI workflow slash agent that can produce direct content for your business or for even for yourself in a personal case. So let me know what you guys think about Sora 2 once you start playing around with this and let me know what you think about this automation here itself if you guys get a chance to actually start playing around with that. This could be a huge game changer for anybody who's looking to create an entire AI social media or short form content machine on their own without having to hire expensive employees or spend hours every single week working on this themselves. Themselves. And this is a pretty fun video to produce, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you're interested in building a system like this out for yourself and you happen to own a business or you're a real estate pro, then hit my second link down below to actually book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and my team so that we can break down some AI strategy and start talking about what AI can actually do for your business. Or if you want to access this template to start playing around with this Sora 2 system and get access to a bunch of exclusive courses, Q&As with me, and a whole bunch of other awesome resources, then hit link number one to join my free school community. And I hope to see you inside. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate appreciate you guys considering dropping a like and a subscribe down below to let me know you enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a comment down below to let me know what your favorite part of this is and what your thoughts are on OpenAI's Sora 2 so far. And with all of that said, thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.